Josh, congratulations. You've signed a one-year contract extension with the clubs. Just talk us through um, your decision to, to re-sign and, and what was the, the deciding factors for you? Um, well, obviously, I'm loving my time here at Dunfermline. I've been playing a lot, so um, I think that's just about any football I want. So it was really a no-brainer for me. I want to keep playing. I want to play every game. So I came down to that, and obviously, that's an easy decision for myself. As well as being an easy decision for yourself, it was an easy decision for the fans to want you to, to, to sign that new deal. So they'll be absolutely delighted when this news goes out and it must be great to, to have that wanted feeling around the club again. Uh, well, it's obviously nice to hear and nice to know that the fans want me to stay and I'm more than happy to stay. So uh, I'm looking forward to just continuing the rest of the season, being out in the park and playing. You continue to... Develop. You always said when you came in that you, you wanted to play as many games as you could. You've passed 125 matches for the club now. You're on to five goals. You're you know, into that new role at the left wing back. Um, you must be you know, feeling that everything that you've looked for out of coming to Dunfermline has really came to fruition for you. Yeah, um, I think if you went back to my first interview, it was, like you just said, mostly along the lines of that, playing as many games as I could. Um, <laughs> adding a few goals and uh, obviously it's been a great experience for myself um, I think the main thing was for myself to develop and over my time here I'd like to say I have um, so uh, it's been a great fit for me um, and long may it continue As well as your influence on the park you're obviously a big influence off the park as well in the dressing room and I believe that you and a few of the other boys are, are keeping that team spirit high with a, a darts tournament at the minute. <laughs> well, I, to be fair, it's really like all of us were all getting involved in it um, but ever since the darts was on the telly at New Year we've all been on the dartboard as soon as we're in the training so it's been it's been a right good um, laugh recently anyway and we've all been <laughs> playing the darts when we're just after our lunch and that it's been <laughs> it's been a good laugh. You're not going to put any names forward about who's the best? No, no, I'm not going to talk about that. No, no, no. Uh, it's no me, but uh, to be fair, there's a few few boys that would stand out. I'd probably say Kevin O'Hara, which I don't want to say, but, uh, and uh, Aaron Comrie for the two best ones for me at the minute. Back to the football, and obviously the last two games have been cup ties against higher league opposition, and despite... The, the defeats to, to Dundee and part of penalties, we must take a lot of positives out of the matches and be going into Clyde on Saturday feeling good about ourselves. Aye, absolutely. Um, obviously, uh, both teams are in the league above us and um, we held our own for both games, all of the games. Um, Partick, their game could have went either way. Obviously, it gets a penalty shootout and literally anything can happen during penalties. Um, didn't go our way. But um, over the 120 minutes, I'd f I'd say we had more chances than them. Um, well, they still obviously had their chances in the game, but that's that's football. It's going to happen. So um, also, we're all we're all gutted. We're at the cup. Uh, we we're disappointed. But I mean, the performance we put on, we can't be disappointed about that at all. I thought we were uh, excellent. So um, we just need to pick ourselves up, knowing that we can play at that level. Uh, as well, we showed that again on Tuesday night with Dundee. Um, that we put on a good performance there as well. Obviously, we conceded a few soft goals, which we're not, we're not happy about. Um, but, I mean, our defensive record has been brilliant this season. Um, I'm not saying it's an excuse for the one game, but uh, we'll definitely be looking at it and looking at ways where we uh, don't concede goals like we did on Tuesday night but again we held our own through the majority of the match and we are, we're proud of our performances. And looking at Clyde specifically of course we know how tough it will be the last time we played them the, the draw here at KDM Group East End Park but we've went there earlier in the season and, and uh, you know got a good result in the midweek of course scored a, a fantastic goal through Matty Todd as well near the end which everyone will remember and we'll be hoping for some more kind of scenes on Saturday. Hopefully, anyway, aye. Um, obviously, it took us away. We grind them down on the away game. Um, I need to take some responsibility for the home game where we slap back pass, but luckily the boys bailed me out and we managed to salvage our draw. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to make it smoother for ourselves this time. But again, Clyde are a tough side, tough side to beat. So 
I don't imagine it will be. We'll have to certainly earn the three points at the weekend. And I know we've already touched briefly on the fans, but um, Dave Mackay, after Saturday's game against Park, said that's probably the best he's saw the Dunfermline fans away from home this season since he joined the club. It was it was great numbers going to Park, and all the players and staff have always said how great the support has been. But just from a player's point of view, you know, three games in a week, three tough away games. How important is it to get as many numbers there as possible on Saturday? Yeah, no, as um, the last time obviously we played Clyde, there was, a, there was great scenes in the way end after we scored the the late goal to seal it all off. To, um, it was great. Uh, the, obviously the fans have been brilliant, especially at home with the, the north uh, west section, it's been brilliant. So um, we encourage them to keep coming back because we love, we love hearing them during the game and obviously the Dundee game for them to turn out and the numbers on a Tuesday night like that after the game's been called off, what was it, twice? It's great to see them all turn up again for us on the third attempt.